Well, hello and welcome to Physics Games. Today's point of interest is Cave 01, an absolute classic in the wilderness. This is a difficulty tier 1 POI and can be obtained from the trader for a clear or fetch quest. Oh, and straight away a zombie appears. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, as you may have noticed from a little gap in my videos, I've been a little bit ill recently. So let's try another video out and we'll see if we can do something nice and simple. Oh, hello, chicken. Uh, nice and simple. This is Cave Zero One. And uh, what we're going to do today is have a bit of a tour around it because it is one of those classic beauties that is well worth knowing. And it's quite hard to find. I swear, back in the day when I once used this as a base, I used to find this place all the time. I don't know. What do you think? Is it harder to find now? We're kind of forced by questing to stay in towns. I just never seem to come across it. But it is a beautiful thing and worth seeking out because of course you can see that a lot of time has been spent by the developers making all of this very beautiful and uh, it's just exciting to find these things and it's exciting to find a little bird's nest let's see what's in there nothing too spectacular for me no no beautiful eggs but we have some wildlife about it's found out in the wilderness and as we come down this beautifully sculpted pathway we find a little bridge across this kind of cave water system and if if you look just down there you can see this is where we're going to exit uh, you can jump down there if you want but you are unable without frames to get into the actual cave now to start with let's be careful here because i think a couple of those break out they do indeed so just be careful because if not you'll be getting wet early but there's nothing else kind of hiding out around here there's only one little secret which is a very near us now but let's just go in oh and what have we got we got some zombies straight away we're going to get slicey and dicey they spawn in different positions sometimes they spawn at the front here sometimes they spawn back behind here but here we do have a nice uh, good old food pile that is a nice little stash a little bit of foul trash very nice and some resources uh, these are stalagmites of course I think I've got that right tell me if I'm wrong give you um, some lovely nitrates a nice easy way to get some simple nitrates there might be some more mushrooms about somewhere I'm not sure and there's definitely a bit of rusty barrel action too but don't forget this is our little secret just well it's not too much of a secret but it's a little purse and they're always full of money oh, or, or two lockpicks will have some of that um but there we go that's just the entrance kind of area and uh, once you've gone through that i don't think that's got anything in it no it doesn't we're into the next little zone oh and straight away a zombie appears whoa 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 be careful of course with this kind of the way they place the blocks here sometimes they activate the old crouch mode which kind of sucks but what are you looking after mate you looking after anything interesting here just a barrel a little bit of cement and a little bit of old trash too okay fair play and we continue our journey it's only a, a little tier one here so it's not exactly um devastatingly difficult but it's just nice that they've uh, they're all activating and having a bit of fun look here's one straight away coming up for us let's go for a big slice and then a head removal and what have we got we've got a nice toolbox here and uh, a nice working stiff tools as well so we'll get into there and have a look and we have oh there you go 17 frames and a bit of duct tape as well just looking around there we go there is a mushroom we can get some of them foul trash too that's always nice because like, sometimes you get brass handles and everything that's what you need isn't it okay down here this is actually our end loot and this is a little bit of a dead end uh we have oh she's a big lady um we'll slice her up straight away and then we'll get dug straight into a weapons bag very nice the little wooden crate that you always get now that is a pretty nice bit of loot but obviously i have a high level character here and uh this honey there's even a decent bit of a uh, bit of medical there more mushrooms um more resources nothing hiding behind these at all another bit of mushrooms there and then we're off and out i think we've only got one more enemy to go to so hang on let's get our bearings we came out here we did these two and now we're going to continue down here plastic barrels and uh, some little coffins as well bit of cloth in there then coming around here yep yeah, they should be behind here oh, oh no or falling down whoa we have got a little enemy hiding away there sometimes they're behind here as well now you can see there's a little section here if i just go into god mode and come up you can see this is where they're hiding unfortunately they didn't put any funky loot here i really wish they did it would have been nice as well because if they didn't fall down then you would never certainly find it would you uh mushrooms trash all of that and then we're going for the plunge look at the high quality seven days to die water there and once we got out of here we just kind of 
you know, just swim up. And it's worth getting up, up, up and heading as far away from that little hole as possible because this is the position where you can safely get out of here and you're done. An easy clear, only a teensy bit of loot. But hey, what a beautiful place to set up base with some friends. That is certainly something good. If only they were found a little bit more nearer to the cities, then people would end up doing that. But oh well, all good stuff. I hope you enjoyed that. That is, of course, just a quick tour. There's no absolute major cheese here because, of course, as I said, if you nip down here, you cannot get back out easily and you're meeting all the enemies anyway. So it's just a beauty that I hope you have enjoyed during your gaming time in Seven Days to Die. And this is the Physics Playground here. I hope you enjoyed the video today. We've done hundreds of these and we've got hundreds more. We visit this place a few times a week. We've got live streams and we've got tips and tricks too. So you know what to do. Hit that button and I will see you very, very soon. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later. Bye.